praise Yeshua, amen. God bless you all. This is more for the leaders of the world, or quite specifically leaders of the United States. Um, after April 11th at sunset, I'm going to be too busy to get involved when uh, Trump's reinstated, whatever that is afterwards. I'm just saying if you want extra blessings, you'll have to do it on or before sunset on Gregorian April 11th, sunset 2021. All right. Uh, I'm just one messenger. So there's other messengers. If you want other people's prayers, uh, you don't even have to listen to me. But that was the message that I was told to give. Uh, I'm holding back so many words because I really, this is like a powerful thing to say. I know that uh, for those who know, and especially your intelligence people, they know how much time I waste. Uh, Apart from that, I bless you all as much as I'm allowed to. And uh, real quick, um, you know, it's pretty awesome here in the United States. Uh, President Trump, if you get this message, just wanted to let you know, uh, since I've been in, you know, the flesh and this body and all that, the, you know, alive, the presidents that have been alive, um, the American people's heart, the, the Americans have never been captured like this. Uh, the closest was JFK, but this is very different because back in JFK's day, they weren't ready to kill for him, and people are ready to kill and die for you, so it's, uh, this, the spiritual thing is very, very powerful, and it's unlike anything that the Americans of present have ever seen, or will see again, presumably. Anyway, uh, President, well, you're not even the president, Joe Biden, uh, God bless you, hey, and your family, sir. The If you were starving or you were dying of thirst, just know I would give you water and feed you and take you to safety. Not against you. I'm just a messenger of Yeshua, so I have to tell the truth. And, you know, I'm not going to sit there and tell people about you. But I will say this. Uh, I think it's pretty incredible that you have had the life that you did. It's pretty awesome that you were able to work with the powers that be to do this uh, work that was done and I mean it's <laughs> I can't say too much but the power that was behind it is impressive for you mortals you know it's uh, as far as the angels are concerned this is just dust in the wind all right so oh uh, Kamala Harris uh, awesome hey uh, even Hillary Clinton never got this close, and uh, she really tried it. <laughs> wow. It's, uh... Anyway, there was more I wanted to say, but it wouldn't be wise. And to the rest of the people who are in charge, uh, no matter what the federal government tries to do, the will of the people is going to win over it. It's predestined. Um, no matter how many you try to change their hearts and minds and stuff like that, it ain't going to work. Uh, there's something more powerful than even the 5, 6G stuff. Uh, the Holy Spirit will always be more powerful than the uh, anti-Mashiach spirit. I know he's going to tell you different, the beast. It's uh, He's telling you, you know, how bad you are and you're wasting time. And, uh, you know, the, the Satan is a liar, but he's got the money and power and means and ways and all that. But it's all temporary. So our Father wants you all to be saved, and the message to the world leaders is this. Uh, as long as you don't take the mark, uh, try to do some kind of good, but know this. Uh, this is the only pearl, and, and this is a great one. Even if it's with your last breath, if you repent of your sins and mean it with your heart, you'll make it somehow, some way. But it's got to be for real. All right. And again, President Trump, if they get you back in on 11th, of April before sunset um, it'll be my great pleasure to be able to assist you in certain ways if they don't then you've got all these other people like Christians and Jews and others who uh, will pray for you and we'll see if their prayers are answered uh, there's only a handful of holy ones so I would take this opportunity I 
want to live in peace with the powers that be. I mean, even Xi Jinping, that guy, If he, this is my opinion, but as far as world leaders go, uh, he was number one for 2020. Uh, 2021, hey, <laughs> that's up for grabs, but I think it's pretty evident because the power players have already designed their plan and the slaves, you know, the people that us, the uh, we get to partake. I think I've said enough, so Yeshua, I bless you all. Uh, President Trump, it's going to be interesting. I know that when you do your second term, um, be more involved in who you pick. And when you get someone to lead the military, uh, with all my heart, make sure they're not a homosexual. All right? Make it a straight man who wants to win for the United States of America, and you'll do a good thing for the people. Yeshua, I bless all of you. Amen.